You two what's good it's your boy small pound back with another video playing your head up right now we're checking out ali sadiq this is one of his most famous stand-ups this is called the prison riot or mexican got on boots all right i, I i've seen clips of it but after um watching a little clip of an interview of him this one really propelled him he was already doing stand-up for a while prior to um he said 17 years but when he did this one something propelled him because he used to be in jail now he got out so he's telling these stories from jail now and his childhood because it's so real people can um i guess resonate just from the realness alone but We'll go ahead and check it out real quick. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'm dropping videos Monday through Friday, every day. Let's go. No matter what, you stick with your race. I don't know why I can't have a Mexican friend. He's in Comedy my cell. Central. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Don't Mexican got on boots. copy I right. Figure out what I'm supposed to do now. I'm just gonna pause this just because it seems like a copyright clip. Y'all don't understand. Like even video, they can copyright, and it's when you upload it, it pulls from an algorithm. Like. The copyright owner lets you, it, it tells YouTube, the database, what they own, and they put a meta tag on it. So anytime that it's recognized, music, video, any type of talking audio, any type of, any type of talking audio, and I'm going to skip past this just in case too. Any type of talking audio, any type of talking audio that has like a meta tag and a meta tag is it's akin to dna so someone's like hey look that's ours that's my dna i own that that's a part of me let me get that thank you everybody uh on this show here's what happens it's a bunch of comics telling true stories and that's all it is please give it up for ali sadiq everybody let him hear ali my story is about prison danger Seeing that I look so menacing, you know, and I'm black, so you know it's gonna be about crime. <laughs> Let me tell you, prison is a is an odd place because you do not know the rules. No matter how many prison movies you watch, this room has a weird setup. Like I don't know why you would have. I got it. It's in a bar, but people behind is more than likely they're meant to walk around. But what if somebody just wants to sit or stand up, stand up and talk in front of a mic facing the crowd? The documentaries of yeah, people up, behind them still don't know the rules of what's going to happen. So I'm on my way to what they call necessities. Necessities is, you know, where your clothes, you get your laundry and all that bullshit. So mm -hmm. I'm walking to necessities. And a dude just walks by and say, Mexican got on boots. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm, I've been in prison like the first day. What you mean Mexican got on boots? Everybody got on fucking boots. So I thought, dude walked past, Mexican got on boots. Mexican got on boots. So I tell somebody else, Mexican, Mexican got, on got on boots. boots. <laughs> Dude look down and say Mexican do have on boots and just take off running. Yo. I'm like <laughs> First of all, in the part that Mexican he's about to do say have on boots and just take off running. I'm like, was I supposed to run? <laughs> See the thing is, like right there, was I supposed to run? You will seldom would you find uh people running I, I say black people too black people black people will take off running if they see other people take off running i'm gonna tell you i've done it my friends have done it if people are running you can find out why later after you ran but guess what mm, not about to catch me slipping because the mexicans have on boots <laughs> 
So I asked the old dude, I said, hey, Mexican got on boots. He say, all right, they got on boots. I said, what that hmm. mean? He said, it's gonna be a riot. I said, you pretty calm about a riot. <laughs> I say, how you know Mexicans got on boots mean it's gonna have a ride? He say, cause Mexicans don't wear boots on the rec yard. I say, okay, what they wear on the rec yard? He say, sneakers, they play handball all the time. And then you look and you see Mexicans over there playing handball, but they got on boots. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, does it still don't comprehend? So I get back to my cell, I say, hey, to my celly, I say, you Mexican, what Mexican got on boots mean? He say, that mean we gonna ride, we gonna stab a couple of black guys up. Damn. <laughs> and that's not what you wanna hear. If that's your celly, if that is your cell mate, your bunk mate, not, now more times than not, you you kind of get a get along with that person i would assume you get along with that person i've been in similar situations where you have a roommate bunk mate whatever you it's in your best interest your best living interest to get along with that person so if you have a bad relationship you don't have a bad time regardless <laughs> I don't think there's and a good I way ask, out of this, that. This, when you're in prison, you ask dumbass questions. I'm like, does the ride happen in here? <laughs> <laughs> like in this cell? Because me and you just finished eating together. What you mad at me about? That's what I'm know. saying. But this is when you learn that you stick with your race in prison, no matter what, you stick with your race. I don't know why I can't have a Mexican friend. He's in my cell. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but Mexican got on boots and I got to figure out what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> and I still don't know, I got to still ask people. Found a black dude, I'm like, yo, so what I do now, the Mexican got on got boots. On <laughs> he said, you got to find you a knife. The fact that he keeps saying that, and he, I, I'm pretty sure he walked around the, the jail actually saying that. But the fact that he keeps saying that is killing me. And the I crowd. I gotta find a knife. Ain't no, you can't have no knife in prison. He said, you just got here, huh? I said, yeah, I just got here. He said, man, look, you're going to need to find a dude named Cece and get you a knife. Mm. It's 3,000 people on this unit. How the fuck I'm supposed to find Cece? C -C. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just walking around. Miss got on boots, CC. Man, can Miss you Scott even imagine? CC. Man, right Dude around looking say, for CC. Hey, you looking for CC? I say, yeah. You must need a knife. I say, yeah. He say, why you need a knife? I say, you ain't heard. He say, no, nah, I ain't Mexican heard. Got I on ain't boots. Work all day. <laughs> Mexican got on boots. <laughs> He take off running. <laughs> Yo, that was the best part. That was the best one right there. The you ain't heard. Why you need a knife? You ain't heard. Even though we knew it was coming, it still hit us. He say, no, I ain't heard shit. I've been away work all day. Mexican got on boots. <laughs> <laughs> he take off running. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I take off running after him only because he never told me what CC was. <laughs> I catch him, he say, man, go on the rec yard. CC gonna be on the rec yard. I'm like, I don't wanna go on the rec yard. I just left the rec yard. That's how I found out Mexican had on boots. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm man. sitting on the rec yard, looking around for somebody who may look like a dude named CC. So I'm asking, I'm looking, I'm waiting. I say, somebody gonna speak to CC, got to. Dude walk, what up CC? I say, that's what I'm looking for right there. Right there. I see CC, I nod, he nod back. I say, can I come over there? He say, come on, young blood. I get over there, I say, hey CC, Mexican got on boots. He say, I heard. <laughs> I say, I need a knife. He say, well come to my cell, in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna hook you up. 
I get to the cell. I say, CC, I need a knife. He said, which the shit turned different. He said, what type of knife? I said, what type of knife? How do you even answer that question? What type of knife do you need? I don't know. I just fucking... <laughs> Shit, I don't know. You gotta bring it back. What's making this guy so funny? Because <clears throat> I don't think he said anything funny this whole time. It's He just spoke regularly because he could have told us... He really kind of told his story regularly, but it's just the, the, the presentation of it. Because he ain't like emphasize throwing any like real buzzwords or try to like over embellish the story like simple simple story but he just told it in a certain way that just made it so funny and it's realistic the shit turned different he said what type of knife i don't know i just fucking got here <laughs> He said, what type of knife you looking for? I say, something sharp, something to poke a motherfucker with. I don't know. <laughs> so he put up a towel and say, hold on, let me show you some knives. He put up a towel, went on this mattress, took some shit out, slid some shit back, and now it's eight knives in front of me. It's like I'm at fucking Macy's. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, you know, what kind of knife you want? I said, well, you know, what kind of knife I need for a ride? I ain't never been to ride before. He say, well, you're going to need something where you can stick multiple people and it break off. Jeez. I say, is that right here on the thing? He say, no, nah, these are personal knives. What kind of, what you want your knife made knife. out of? I say, there's too many fucking choices, man. I just need a knife to protect myself. He say, well, God damn it, listen to me, man. Do you want it made out of wood, plastic, metal, or what? I say, Cece, listen to me. I don't know, because I've never been to ride before. What's going to protect me? He say, fuck, new ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, they got him it's wrong hot. to be just getting to prison. I don't want to be here from the beginning. <laughs> so calling me new don't mean shit to me. Man. So I, I said, can only imagine. So, man, what would you suggest? He said, I suggest something personal, like a pin top. Pin top? I'm a fucking pin top knife. I want a, a real pen top. knife. Something I can just get in there with. He said, No. What you get, a pin top is a knife with a pin, but you push a nail through it and then you put the top on it and just have it in your pocket so we can walk around with it. I said, That sound. Pretty cool, but can they? I've never heard of that. A pen top. Inconspicuous. I wouldn't think that they'll let people walk around with pens in jail. And then again, I mean, that was years ago for him, but I don't know. Then again, I guess they got TikToks in jail now, so. So we can walk around with it. I said, that sound pretty cool. But can they, would that sustain with a riot? He said, no, nah, this ain't, that ain't riot knives. That's just personal walk around. I said, motherfucker, I need a knife for the riot. Because <laughs> Mexican got on boots. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, how much is a personal knife going to cost me? Two bags of coffee. Come back a little later on the day. I say, what is the riot? Jump off before I get the knife. He say, that ain't my business. That's on you. I say, cool, CC. So I wait three or four hours, and I knew he was working on my knife because I was down the cell, and I heard <laughs> on the ground. I say, yeah, my knife going to be sharp in a month. Because I'm hearing it. I'm like, shh, 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 shh. I'm hearing it. I'm like, yeah, I can't oh, wait. And I'm man. practicing in my cell how I'm going to use my knife. Practicing my shit. So then this dude named Mitch say, hey, you getting you a knife? I say, yeah, CC working on my knife. He say, what kind of knife you get? I say, what the fuck is all the knife questions? <laughs> I say, I got me a nice little knife. Yo. He say, as long I can hit two, three people. He say, man, you need more than that. I say, what I need now? He say, you need to know about how to fight in a riot. 
I say, how you fighting? I mean, say, Mexican got on boots. This is the reason why they have on boots, so they can kick you. I was about to say they stomp you out. While you oh. fighting, boots are made out of metal. The metal is a metal tip boot. So you got to do this. This is Mitch. This is in my city. Oh, you think about it, right? Shin check. That you're going, you're going down from a shin. There's not too much you can do from shin. You, unless you're a Shaolin monk, you cannot walk off from a shin check. That's just not so happening. Teaching me <clears throat> how to be in a riot. Look, first of all, when you get out there, stay close to the wall, cause motherfuckers gonna be trying to stab you. I said that's pretty much what a riot is. So he said, <laughs> I got that part off the top. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm getting the knife. Okay. So he say, you're going to have to do a rock and lean. I said, what the fuck is a rock and lean? Rock and lean. lean. Mexicans going to come out there. They going to have their knives. You're going to have to have your shirt off with your knife. And when you do this, you're going to have to rock to see what, what foot the Mexican going to kick you with. I said, this, this is too much. This is too much. <laughs> it's like a fucking choreographed dance. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He already so I'm confused my me. Knife. I'm in there fake rocking trying to see what foot gonna come up how to do that well, you ain't in the fucking ride yet I don't know but I'm out there practicing I go back to CC I say yo CC oh man I gotta go to the rec yard shit look like it's finna get live I need my knife he say man I just sold your knife jeez CC I say man what the fuck CC you said it was a personal knife for me it cost two bags of coffee why it's not fucking personal no more I you say, did say it was personal it was personal then a dude came in with three bags of coffee then it made it business jeez I said so you sold my knife he said yeah sold your knife I said the ride about to jump off hey man do what you can do Wow. So, more of the story. I wow, CC. End up, I fucking get cut. Because I ain't have a fucking knife, and I forgot to rock. I'm out there rocking with no knife. <laughs> I've been practicing shit for two hours. <laughs> I'm not getting kicked, but I'm getting cut. I got cut down my side from a Mexican who didn't even have on boots. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's savage, man. Oh, God, that's extra savage, man. That's crazy. Ali Sadiq, funny, 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 man. Um, Yeah, I just think his storytelling is just crazy. The way he tells his stories, and it's not even just this one. There's a, um, ah, oh, I can't even remember the name. The Domino Effect is his other stand-up, long, full-format stand-up. And in that, you just see just the greatest storytelling. He goes from uh, little Ali to big Ali. Um, just it immaculate. Great stand-up. Very nice. Didn't You weren't bored through it, and I loved it. And it was a whole, it was a story. So, with that being said, it's your boy Small Pound signing out. Don't forget to live your passion. Peace.